All right. The easiest thing to look at with our cylinder number three issue is the uh, valves. Not only their adjustment, but is the spring busted? Well, I guess it's going to be busted. It'd probably go right out, but um, we obviously can't look at the piston rings without getting super deep into this thing, whole thing, or right, right to the end. But so, I'm going to have a quick look and all that. Now we'll just have a look. If weather cooperates and if I'm feeling good still, we'll uh, maybe just do a valve adjustment on that one cylinder and do them, do them all potentially. I don't know. I'm not an expert at this method of valve adjustment. Um, on other cars, I've always done it cold. Aficionados of the slant and, in fact, Chrysler themselves say that uh, you really have to do it not only hot, but hot and running. Uh, it is still warm from a trip that I was just out in. Uh, not super warm, but uh, it's enough. It's really I just want to see if I can adjust the uh, compression on cylinder three at all. All right. Oh, I am going to disconnect the battery. I do this because anytime I got wrenches around the uh, alternator there, I've shorted that bastard out before, and it's not fun. Murphy says as soon as I start turning a couple of these wrenches, it's going to start to rain. Fucking rats get in here sometimes. Piss me off. I really have no way to keep them out. They haven't been chewing on shit this time. I just found a couple of turds. I don't know why, but I have a feeling it's going to look kind of grimy in here this time. It actually was a little grimier in here last time I was in, even than the uh, engine I just bought there, the mistress. I would have thought this engine probably had more past maintenance, but maybe not. I did pull all the wires back because they have little clamps right on this cover here to keep the wires in. The hoses sometimes get in the way, but it's not so bad. This one much grimier than the mistress. Oh, look at that. The rubber's actually... Maybe I didn't replace that last time. If I did, it's get it like wore quickly. No, I might have reused it last time. Yeah, because look, it's it's painted the same color as the... Uh, so I didn't replace it last time. I do have one, though. Yeah, see, this this is grimier quite, by quite a bit than the uh, mistress. So what are we looking at here? Two, three... I think what I'm going to do is run it. We might be able to see whether there's any obvious um, lack of operation. Now let's just have a let's have a quick look at that. I better get a container for all this shit here. Hold on. Still running? Good. I buy these by the six pack at the dollar store. Awesome for keeping track of bolts. These ones aren't magnetic on the bottom, but I do also buy um, that flat magnetic sheets and uh, cut it out, put it on there. Now when I start this, you're probably going to go for a bit of a ride, so that might look stupid, because you're attached to the car. Yeah, let's just see how it goes for you. I do hear some clatter. And it's still working them. That idle pattern kind of sucks, man. It's not like it's a flat lobe or anything, but... I gotta get my feelers, I guess.
Yeah, unfortunately there's nothing super obvious. Uh, one thing that is obvious is I haven't treated my, um... Fuck. Sometimes my brain just doesn't work. I haven't treated these feeler gauges very well. They got sh shit all over them. They get wet. So they're not very accurate now, but, um, the appropriate... I mean, they fit. And they're pretty snug. So I don't think the lash is totally wrong. They felt like they were, you know, hammering at the same thing, although that's not a very measurable thing. But if the cam were screwed, let's say, on that lobe, you'd see and even witness a, a lot less energetic action. No serious smoking done there, I don't think, but uh, you know that's one with less compression and... Uh, it was worth a look because this is the easiest place to uh, have a quick look at that. I forgot that these uh, on the cylinder that they're switched around from uh, intake to exhaust. So I was trying to cram the uh, the 20 thou feeler in there and uh, it wouldn't go. And at that point, I thought, oh, geez, maybe you know, maybe these are out of adjustment. But uh, I, you know, I, all you have to do is look up to see what the situation is there. That's the area where it does the double intake uh, thing on the on the count. So should have remembered. Anyway, that's it. It's always fun to run it. Uh, everything gets oily than oily than mo everything gets more oily than normal. But uh, it's always neat to see the uh, the valves going. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm not going to bother to replace the that gasket on the cover because I'm sure I'll be in here again and I ended up using my new gasket set on the mistress because if I am going to put the mistress in here at some point I might as well start there anyway thanks for watching everybody talk soon bye